Hello friends, this is Manuraj here from Gadget Kada. Today I'm here with the second part of our video on how to get Android P features on your smartphone. So without further wasting any time, let's get started. Okay guys, to get started, first feature in our list is Android P Volume Slider. You can get this app directly from the Play Store or you can directly download it from the XDA site. So I will leave the link in the description, you can use that and download it. So once you open up the application, you will have to enable the volume slider. You can do that by clicking on the top right corner of the screen, you will see a toggle button, you can turn that on. So once that is turned on, you will get to see the volume slider option on your notification panel. In this application you can change the notification color, you can choose any color of your choice, you can also change the toggle icon color, that is the color for the notification toggle icon, you can change that, you can change the slider position and you can also change the duration for the volume slider. Coming to the volume slider, it is a floating slider. You can click on any of the toggle icons and you will get to see a floating slider wherein you can increase or decrease the volume. So the main highlight is you can use this floating slider when you are using any other applications. So the next feature in the list is Android P Notch Emulator. Google is going to bring in this Notch feature with the Android P update. So you can get this feature by using an application called Notch Phone X which is available for free in Play Store. So using the Notch Emulator you can enable or disable the Notch. You can change the transparency, you can change the color, you can change the width and height, you can do a lot of things with this application. So coming to the last and final feature that is Android P always on display. So with this help, with the help of this feature you will be able to see the date, time and as well as the battery percentage. That is a new update battery percentage which will come in handy for most of the users. Okay guys that's it for today if you like the video please hit the like button and if you haven't watched the first part of the video please do watch it. So please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so until next time bye bye.